Hi, this is Umam Mahesh from CRM Ones. In this video, I am going to explain about the PCF controls in model driven apps. So here I'm going to explain how we can add the PCF controls to the various control various controls in model driven apps. Basically, the PCF controls are the better visualization for the model driven apps. So PCF controls will provide the ability to extend the visualization visualizations in the model driven apps. As a developer, we can create, debug, import, and add the code components to the model driven apps. So we can add the code components in the, we, we can add the code components to columns, grids, and subgrids of the model driven apps. So here one, one more important point here. So we can only able to add the PCF controls to fields, grids, and subgrids. So fields means we can, we have a, like a text, multi-line of text and date and time. This, this all like a now fields is label change to the columns and the grid means for a particular entity. So when you navigate to the entity level and there, we, if you want to show the different visualizations for your entity data. So instead of regular views, if you want instead of regular views, subgrids, it's like on the forms, if you have a subgrids and if you want to show like a different visualizations instead of a regular list of the records. So uh, like this, we can add like a different, different types of the controls, but whatever the visualizations you can build and you can deploy it or some of the controls will come with the out of box. So the Power Apps component framework for the model driven apps, by default, it will be enabled by default it is enabled but whereas for the canvas app if you want to add any pcf controls to the canvas app you have to enable that feature in the in the list of the features from the settings so in this video i'm just limiting to how we can add the pcf controls uh, to the form subgrades entities and the fields Right. So here I'm going to show you the quick uh, demo, how we can add that. And here I'm going to use the PCF controls, which will come with the out of box later in my videos, later in my next videos, I can show step by step how we can develop the simple and complex PCF controls. So let's, let's go through, uh, let me open my CRM environment. Sorry, now it's it's like a completely power apps model one model driven app. Let me open that and sh and share my and show you that how it is that. So this is my CRM environment. I just taken an example for that account entity. So here for my account entity. So this is a, like a entity level, this is a grid we have. So like a, basically this is a list of the views it will show. So here I want to show like a, this visualization. So as a calendar control for here. So I want to use that calendar control, the PCF control, which will come to the, which is, which will come by out of box, that control. Let me show you how, how we can add that control to this grid. So let me navigate to the my solution. So which I am working for currently this solution. So I can expand this list of entities. So and here I have already added this account entity. So when you click on this account entity, so it will take you to the account entity properties. So it is taking little time to load. Yeah. So now once it is loaded the screen, you can see these controls. So when you click on these controls, so here by default, it's a read only grid. 
So when you click on add controls, so here on the grid level, whatever the PCF controls is available, so it will show the both all the uh, both out of box and as well as what whatever the custom PCF controls you have built and you have deployed to this current environment that both will be show here. So you can see all these controls are supported for the grid. So the same controls will also will, will be available for the subgrids as well. Let me take here. I'm going to take this calendar control view. So calendar control grid. So when you select this one, so when you click on add, so you have to define the list of properties for the available for the PCF controls. So for, for this PCF control. So first you have to show, you have to select. So for what are the areas you want to enable this grid? So you want to enable for the web and mobile and tab. What are the versions of the uh, apps you, you want to show this PCF control grid? So here you have to enable. So for this PCF control, you have to configure which field you want to consider for the start date and description and end date. So here I'm taking the start date field. So I'm binding with the created on for now. So later, like in generic scenario in the real time, you have to select that whatever the fields they, they have they have asked. So once you click on OK, so then description field, I'm binding to the account name. And the end date, end date, I'm binding to the modified on. Let's take it as a modified on date, as an end date. And the duration, it's not a mandatory, so we can leave it as a blank. But you can see the stars, those are the mandatory properties you have to select. If it's a blank, you cannot, you cannot save it. So once you select it, click on save. And once it is saved, you can publish. So let me publish this one. And let me go to the app and refresh the screen. Refresh the app. You should be able to see calendar control here. See, you can able to see, right? So here there is a one account is created on this particular date and time. So like this, you can able to show. You can able to change that entity view uh, to that particular uh, calendar control view. So like this, we can change that grid view to the PCF controls. So now let me go to the entity. Uh, let me open this record and see how we can add to the field level. So like if we have a different fields here. So now fields is rename it as a column. So, so we have a, like a, these all the columns we have. So how we can add the PCF control to the particular column. So let me navigate to the solution so we can go to the solution and both now get to the forms and select your form which form you are using
So once this uh, form is open, you can select which field you want to add the PCF control. Like let me, I'm taking the account name. So when you open this account name, properties, field properties, and you can go to the controls view here this is a control tab and you can add it at control and here it will show like all the different types of the field level the pcf controls which are supported for the fields so this all the list of the controls for the single line of text data type will support so here I'm I'm selecting like a one of the PCF control. So let me take like a rich text editor. So we can we can select like input mask also. So let me take this one for as an input mask. Okay, so let me take that only. Rich text editor. So this is a PCF control. So we can add to the field and we need to select. So if you have any custom configurations, we can select it here. We can click on edit and we can select the static value or we can we can select the uh, URL field from the uh, website URL, so we can bind it. Else, we can leave it as a blank. This, since it's not a mandatory field, so once you click on OK, that control will be added to this one here. And in the same way, let me show you for the subgrades. Subgrades also we have this is a contact subgrade in the account form. So when you go to the contacts subgrade. So we can select the controls and you can add a new controls. So these are all the controls which are supported for the grid and same controls will support for the subgrid as well. So we can select the subgrade and click on add and you can select the properties. So all the properties, whatever is required here. And once you click on here, that, that control will be shown for the subgrid also. So since I have already shown for you in the grid levels, that's why I'm not able, to, I'm not adding for this upgrade here. Let me save this form and publish. So now it's published. Let me go to the app and let me refresh this form. And when you go to the account name, still it's loading that piece of control here. So this PCF control. So we have a, like a rich controls here. We can edit and we can format and, and we can save it, right? So like this, we can add the PCF controls to the grid level and subgrid level and field level, we can add it field or column level. So here, one important question for the interviews, right? When you are taking up the interviews, they uh, on the PCF controls, they will ask in the model driven apps, what are the places you can able to add the PCF controls? So the answer is you can able to add on the columns 
our field level and we can able to add the mod uh, pcf controls to the grid level and sub grid level thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video please subscribe our channel so that will give us the more uh, encouragement for uh, to bring the more videos on the te technical side and that 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 will give us like a huge applause for the my team members who prepare this content and make me a, make me a, and make me a video for this thank you so much for once again to watching this video